What's going on? How y'all doing? What's happening? What's happening? This episode going to be about tap dancing Nick Cannon, who's more known for the day for populating the population than any of his shows. He said some things where he had to do some stepping and fetching, and Percy, I think he was right. I think he should have not have bucked down, but when you get buck broken, you know how we go. He was absolutely right. He did not say anything wrong, in my personal opinion, originally. However, the yes of boss have got to come and do this. Anyway, this video going to be about his take on his ex-wife Mariah Carey's music career and how she stack up in verses against anybody and his take on R. Kelly. And I know this will go through because I'm going to talk about black folks. And you know good and well, these channels ain't going to have no problem when you talk about black folks straight up. So I'm going to start with his take about Mariah Carey. The first thing he said, and I quote, I don't think nobody could hang with Mariah Carey in the verses. And he said, the only person who could probably hang with would be R. Kelly. Now, I'm going to get to R. Kelly in just a second, and I'm going to get on to what he said about R. Kelly, too. Well, first of all, if Mariah Carey went against R. Kelly in the verses, she would get slaughtered. R. Kelly would just smash her left and right musically. It ain't even close. Yes, she could sing, and yes, she wrote some fairy tale songs, which were hooks and samples of other songs. But no one sits around talking about no Mariah Carey is some great songwriter. Just because she wrote the songs don't mean she's better. And he knew anything about music. Just because you don't write the song don't mean you ain't a great artist. Whitney Houston smashes her. And he don't really have a musical education. Because if he did, I would put Lionel Richie's catalog up against Mariah Carey. He can write a song by himself. Steve Wonder can write a song by himself. Smokey Robinson can write a song by himself. Carol King can write a song by herself. That's four right there. Okay. I can name Shaka Khan. Could write a song by herself. I can name Al Green. Could write a song by himself. Seven right there. Obviously I said R. Kelly. That's eight. And I'm just talking about living artists. That would wipe the floor with Mariah Carey's overrated behind. Because them songs ain't that memorable. They're not that memorable. Everybody know Mariah was kind of like a junior whopper with Whitney Houston. Okay. She can sing. She got some talent. But her biggest song that ironically made Mariah credible was when she did the MTV Unplugged almost 30 years ago and she did I'll Be There with Trey Lawrence on the hook. Because she had to do that because people thought she was a mannequin live on stage. So when she did that, that opened her up. But before that, she just like a studio creation, stiff and robotic. So he think he he thought he was up here going to come up here talking about naming some artists. Barry Gill would have eaten Mariah for breakfast or songwriting and stuff. Come on now. I'm getting warm. I can go on. I can go on. When you are limited by what you think you know, you better ask somebody. Mariah ain't that deep. And in a verses where people aren't just going by, you know, this or that, but they're going by the actual songs and stuff, she ain't got a chance. She ain't got a chance. I mentioned men and women, and they would clobber her. she get clobbered. His next take, he gave R. Kelly his due musically and said he's the only one that can hang. But he said, we'll never get to hear that because, you know, his situation. Now, I'm going to say it like this. Musically, R. Kelly was the best artist of the last 30 years, I think. So Bruno Mars came along as far as, like, if we're going by post. Like, you going 90s, early 00s and what have you. Kill still runs R&B, straight up. And I'm not going to sit here and say no predictions about what could happen with his case. I think his case is janky. I think his case is laughable because I don't know how a TV documentary uh, can convict you when the state and the feds ain't come at you. But this TV documentary and all of a sudden the industry pours money to, to eliminate. I'm not condoning what's alleged because if that's the case, you got to pay the price. But also not believing what I'm seeing either. And I'm really tripping when Nick Cannon sits at a part of his mouth to say, well, that's the end of him. Uh-huh. But when they made him tap dance and buck break to what he said on Professor Griff's show, he wasn't so direct. See, it's easy to put black folk down when they ain't going through things. And like I said before, regardless of what happened, you don't be talking about folks because you never know what could happen. And Nick was crying for his little whack career not that long ago. But anyway, I, I listened to what he had to say on these two subjects, three subjects. <clears throat> Mariah Carey would get slaughtered in the verses, be it R. Kelly. Oh, I can name, I named about 10 other people who would slaughter her who were living. If I mentioned the deceased, it would be probably about mm, 
99 others who would just tear her behind up. Not that memorable as a songwriter. Decent vocalist, but Mariah ain't the kind of person that you're going to hear a lot of people talk about, oh, she's one of the goats. No, no, no. She was successful. I give her that. Decent voice, all that. But to me, Junior Whopper Whitney, and I'm going to say that. And I don't care if Whitney didn't write her songs. I'll take Whitney Houston any day over Mariah. Any day. And as far as his takes on R. Kelly and whatnot, he need to keep that to herself. Because I remember when he was doing little extras and for Jive Rucker, he was playing DJ in the Mark Kelly videos. Will Smith hooked that up, kept him a job. Remember Gigolo? Yeah. No one, that ain't, ain't no one, the, the, that was a big hit. Nick tried to come back with his music career, and that thing went Reynolds rap. Ain't no one, he's on a milk cart, and that's what his career is. So he better keep hustling these TV shows and what have you. But I am not trying to hear no commentary for some for some buck dancing on the plantation because when Massa said watch what you say boy then he's all around here all apologizing crying and moaning trying to keep a little bag anybody trying to hear that whackness from that turkey he sold himself out so anyway that's my thoughts too about Nick Cannon's take on Mariah Carey versus an R. Kelly please hit the like subscribe I welcome thoughts and comments and I do respond thank you wash your hands keep your mind clear watch out for another and stop listening to these entertainers because they will say anything for the bag. And when they and when they get Massa wants them to come in, then they start crying. Watch them shuffling. He's another shuffler. He's just as bad as Alfonso Roberto. He, and he is basically the black version of him. Cornball too. I'm out.